Hi kids, if you're back again it's really nice to see you. If it's your first time please subscribe and welcome to another half arse tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the Novation circuit. Uh, fairly Well I've had it about three, four months now I think. I've been discovering all kinds of things and I'm going to show you two things today. First one confused the hell out of me, and it's to do with MIDI channels. I had a problem where the circuit was firing things off in the model samples. I'd had an issue with with getting it to talk with things, and the manual is not very instructive on this. So I did a bit of uh, trawling the internet, and I found this. I'm going to pass it on. You might find it useful. And the next thing I'm going to do is to show you a little bit about. Um, kind of half timings or um, what do they call it? Para rhythms. So, see what I mean. First of all, we've got to turn it on. When we turn it on, I'm going to hold down the shift key, and that brings us to the edit page, the the kind of device edit page. Okay, there we go. All of these are lit up. The ones that you're interested in are the pink colour, which goes with synth 1, the green colour, which is obviously synth 2, and the orange, which is the lovely drum machine. And all of these along the top row are MIDI channels 1 to 8, and then 9 to 16. And wherever those lights are, they tell you what MIDI channel it is. So that's MIDI channel 1, MIDI channel 2, MIDI channel 3. And my problem was that I had the drums set to a MIDI channel, which was the same as one of my other machines, and it kept triggering it off, and it confused the hell out of me. Anyway, handy little tip. Use it if you, if you need to. It might save your life. Right, what I'm going to do now is show you a little bit about kind of cross rhythms. Uh, I've got a very simple pattern set up. I'm just going to use a kick drum, snare and the hi-hat to do this and have a listen. Right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the hi-hat pattern and I'm going to do it very simply over two and a bit bars and then you'll hear how it shuffles itself around so this won't take long so straight away patterns duplicate that pattern into pattern two and then I'm going to go to pattern two and edit that so I'm on pattern two I'm going to go into edit And then let's add a few more steps in here. Now, at this point, I could edit some velocity, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is use the length button. And if I press the length button, I can then set which is the last step in that pattern. So I'm going to step the last step there. And if you listen, let me stop this, if you listen, you will hear it gradually shift and shuffle around. And let me show you that very, very quickly. So back to patterns. And what I like to do is put two of these on or, or even more so that you've got some regular length patterns, 16 beat patterns, and then some which are slightly less. And that allows things to shuffle and it makes your whole rhythm section a bit more interesting so have a listen you can hear it's got that 
constant slight shifting. We can get a bit more sophisticated with this and I'll show you something about uh, another thing that you can do with the gates which introduces a kind of roll for it and that makes things even more interesting. So stop there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this half pattern, copy that and I'm going to put it on there. So already you're going to have three and then I'm going to duplicate that one over there. Right, and then this pattern, I'm going to edit and I'm going to change slightly. I'm going to put a little roll on there and then you'll hear the roll will gradually shift around. So, in there, let's edit it. So I've added the three notes on there, but I'm going to change those. I'm going to use the gate button. And what you can do with the gate button is you can specify which subdivisions of the 16th note you want to play. So this is my favourite. And then you get the drill kind of noise. And just to judge it up a little bit more, we'll play with the velocity. Now when we go to pattern, if I do those three, you'll hear that change its place in relationship to the kick drum and the snare. So here we go. There you go. And that will gradually drift and rotate round and it just adds another layer of complexity and interest to your drums. Um, it's a handy little pattern. And then of course if you want to pull things straight back in and get it back into normal, all you can do is go, just click one pattern. And then you've got exactly the same pattern being played over and over again. And it locks everything back in time. You could do this. And there you go, on the fly just create a little another layer of interest anyway that's about it for today if you found it interesting and useful please let me know in the comments below and share it with other people who might have some kind of interest in this um, if there's anything else you want me to explore or find out or or have a go at with the circuit do let me know and um, see you again don't forget to subscribe come back and most of all, have fun, kids. Bye.